What the hell is that? Snakes, dude. Blue and pink marijuanas. <laughs> I'm still blown away by these arowanas though. It is a Monday, and of course, us fish addicts, me and Joe, we gotta go out east to our favorite fish stores, Country Critters and Aqua Hut. Unfortunately, Country Critters closes at seven o'clock and it's right now 620. But we're driving out now, we're gonna see if we can make it in time to see some fish. Joe, you plan on getting anything good today? We'll see. We'll see. Martin tank's a little bit crowded right now, but I do want to get another top water type fish so that that South American gar that's in there will be a little bit more open to feeding. It's been a little bit difficult to get him to feed. I've been trying krill, blood worms. It shows a little bit of interest, but he's not really eating, eating. Uh, I do believe that if you get other fish that will promote uh, feeding for them and he'll be more likely to eat because it's like monkey see, monkey do. Woo, we made it. Country critters. Let's see what they got inside, guys. Yo, what's up? Whoa. Check out this tank. Crazy. Look at those. Yo, look at these snakes. I always forget that they're in here. What the hell is that? Snakes, dude. Those are um, like river snakes, I think they're called. No, they're black water. You gotta go quick because they're closing in 15 minutes. We just made it in time. That's nano fish over here. Look that crayfish. Black cray. These gobies are cool. That's some jade gobies. Bullfrog. Bullfrog tadpoles. Let's check the other row. Cool. Albino Yeah, those are those big guys. Oh, look at that thing. These guys are always cool, the Hussars. Every time I see him, I'm always like... The Adolfoi. So these are the Adolfoi I got before. The small ones. These guys right here. Got a lot of black on the top. More black than mine. So what about the Waru? I do, I do regret not getting the Waru last time. I don't know. They get to be so big. <laughs> wow. The big tail houses. Those guys are small. They have more of those Hussars there. The hill stream loaches. Posted a video up on Instagram once of I thought these guys were like displaying like breeding behavior in my place. Oh wow, look! They have a, a leopard cactus bucko. That's the one I got from Green Oasis Farms. It's actually a different one. I got the L144 for 300 bucks. What's that? Is that a water? I don't know what that is. Yeah, kind of No, yeah. Those are a little bit more of a rare one. Oh, they got some red tiger moto gwens. Those are the parachromis species. They, these guys get very nasty. Very small though. Check these guys out, the portal catfish. They're kind of like hoplo catfish. A little bit different though. See the way their mouths are pointed? These are really cool cichlids. I don't know the name of them. They're Mercy, I think. Really cool. Not really that common of a cichlid. I got black diamonds pole on the bottom row. Some cool catfish. Look at these guys. Wow. Looks like some of those Asian barbs. Exodons. Some bichers, some catfish. 
Look at this. Look at these little peacock bass. They're cool. Those are pretty cool. Look at the wolves. The wolf fish. Two purple wolves up there. Those are cool. Shovel those lemas. Lady cichlids. I don't know, Joe. Look, peacock bass. More bass. Bass over there. Oh, got some common wolf fish. Kind of like my, my red wolf I got at home. All right, guys, so we did not get anything from Country Critters. But that doesn't mean we won't get something, period. We're going to be taking a trip down that street over to Aqua Hut <laughs> as they close the doors to Country Critters. And maybe they'll, maybe we'll, maybe we'll get something at Aqua Hut, Joe. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Up next, Aqua Hut. Damn, look at this. Moray eel. Whoa. Check these pikes. Got some arrows. Oh, the silvers. Catfish on them. Bottle horn. It's a good looking bottle horn. Discus over here. Well, these look like that, uh, the short body heck of these, so. Oh god. <laughs> Joe got one of these guys and it ripped apart his tank. The lenticulate pike. Really aggressive fish. Got gar. Big gar here. Got more. They got a lot of these pikes, these red pikes. The abat abato. Oh. Is that 100 bucks? That's crazy, dude. That's a dirt shoot for that's a spotted one, right? Yeah, it's a big one. We got all these tanks over here. How much? Gold nugget pleco, 20 bucks. Not bad. What are these, uh, Paku? Or silver dollars? Silvers. Got tired track eels like my black spotted eel I got. Look at that. <gasps> Whoa. Yeah, and that polypterus, that's like one of those like rare ones. Oh my dude, what? I might have to try that for show. That's crazy. Is that a rope? Yeah, a little rope fish. Look at all these elephant nose. So many of them. They're like your baby whales, same family. Yeah, baby whales are here. Are the baby whales here? Oh yeah, look at the baby whales. Oh wow, look at these quarries too. A lot of quarries in here. He's out. Yeah, black nose get huge, though. look. Yeah. Nice plurpterus. They always look like the um, the wolfish a little bit. Got some angels. Some barbs. What's up? Ooh, and pink arowanas. <laughs> what? What are They're like glow light arowanas? What? These are wild. I don't know about you guys, but those blue and red arowanas are so sick. If I can have the tank size for them, I probably would get them. Got some scats, monos. You know what they got? Look at this, more vampire shrimp like the ones we got last week. Try these mudskippers. Yo, 
I'm still blown away by these arowanas though. They are insane, dude. I don't know. And look at the little rose line with them. The, you were like, pink and blue arowanas. And then one rose line. I have never seen these before. Oh look, another flower. Blue arowana gang. Are those little bamboo shrimp? No, those are, are they, wow, they are. Those are little bamboo shrimp. I think these are amanos. And some of them are bamboos. Got some of these crayfish in here. We look some more of the vampire shrimp. Damn, today's flower horn day. Hello, flower horn. Zebra pike. These guys are cool. Oh, those are uh, gourami. These are chocolate gourami. They need really low pH. Really? They're really low. They're like black water fish. Another flower horn. Oh wow, is it? That's a dragon puffer. Shout out to SU Fishkeeping, Dragon Puffer Gang, Neon Tetra Gang. A little bigger. Some more neons. Bino Hecali. More Exodons. Four line cats. Wow, look at those parrots. Colors. Oh, Alright guys, so on top of my eye getting extremely dry from my allergies and basically having one eye open, we got some fish. So we're going to go home, acclimate them, and show you guys what I got. We are back at the house. I put the fish into the tank. My eye is clearing up. I put some uh, visine or whatever it is inside my eyes so it clears up. So the fish that I got is a waru. I have always liked waru since the first day that I saw them. The first time I ever saw a waru was actually uh, looking online. It was one of the first times I ever looked online for fish and I saw a panda waru and I was like, whoa, that's a beautiful fish. Then I saw this waru and it was a little bit different colors but it still had that same incredible pop and I said, I really want to get it. So I started Googling around and I saw Joey DIY's channel and it got me into YouTube. It got me into fish keeping even more. And here we are today for the first time ever owning a Waru here on my channel, Long Island Fish Guys. I also hope that it really entices the other fish to eat inside the tank uh, just because they're being a little bit finicky right now. It's not uncommon that wild caught fish are a little bit finicky eaters uh, when they first get into your tanks. And that's because a lot of times fish stores will feed live right away. Uh, so your fish like an Oscar fish is going to be a pig. It'll eat no matter what you feed it. But some fish like this striped pike or some stingrays, they're going to be a little bit pickier. If you guys do want to follow along with this waru, be sure to subscribe. Check out some of the other content here on my channel. Ding that notification bell if you are already subscribed. Most importantly, don't forget to fish on.